What is up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Washington Football Maniacs. To all you Maniac Commanders out there, welcome. If you are new here, again, welcome. Please consider subscribing to this channel. With all that said, let's get into today's video. This is one of those off-the-cuff uncensored, even though I'm not going to say any bad words, <laughs> uh, but unedited videos because I tend to roll with stuff like that. So let's get into today's video. So I thought this was really interesting that we're seeing a lot of um, Commanders fans on Twitter. Uh, a lot of them are uh, fan ambassadors of the team that have received the Letterman jackets that uh, made their debut on 2-2-22, and, you know, they were kind of sporting them. Uh, some of the hog farmers, they, uh, you know, they were uh, certainly supporting those uh, um, those jackets. Uh, I think uh, one of them, uh, what's his name, Hog Farmer Keith, uh, as he calls himself on, on Twitter, uh, was kind of uh, having a little fun with it, and uh, I, I I don't think he meant to to rub it in on people, but you know how uh, people are going to be. Some people uh, took it as, as uh, him being playful. Other people took it as him being just mean and rubbing it in as like, look what I got and you didn't get. And so you had a lot of people who got jealous, very jealous, that random. It just really looks like random people are receiving these gift packages from the team and then other people who are like wait a minute you know what about me i've i've spent money on this team i went to games um maybe i'm not a you know season ticket holder or anything like that or maybe i am a season ticket holder and i've spent a lot of money and i didn't get anything and you know what's it what is this all about and so the, it is is so funny how there's so much drama that has come from these Letterman jackets. Now, you know, the Letterman jackets are okay. Um, honestly, when everything was re revealed, you know, a lot of people are going to cling to anything that's new as, wow, that is fire, that is awesome. And I guess having, you know, for me being married to a graphic designer who scrutinizes every single design with the fine tooth comb, uh, I've kind of adopted that as well. So I, I, I'm starting to look at designs as well as like, you know, I think they could have done this to it. They could have done that to it. You know, after you've been married to somebody for a while, you start to, you know, you start to see how they think a bit. And so having said all of that, um, yeah, you know, I saw the design, I saw the logo and I was like, took them how long to design this logo now i'm not trying to bash the team or anything like that i know that people tend to be you know one side or the other you know they're, they're polar opposites so they're either gonna extremely love what i say or they're gonna extremely take what i say you know to over to way past negative and you know sorry you have to deal with it okay i mean I'm just being honest. I think they could have done a better job with the logo. Certainly, wow, the sun rays. I, I'm sure you guys are really going to enjoy this video with the sun shining in. It's making me look like a saint. Um, but, yeah, a lot of people are just, you know, with, with the uh, with the jacket, um, you know, a lot of people are like, wait a minute. Um that jacket's fire. I want that jacket. And then other people are like, that jacket looks so cheap. You know, I mean, me, if I look at that jacket, I see, you know, that is definitely, I can see how the logo works with a Letterman jacket like that, you know, because the, the, the logo is for the, for the most part, honestly, the logo is plain. Um, there wasn't what I consider a lot put into it. And I'm not saying a lot of work. I'm just saying that um, they didn't really put a lot, so much detail into it that it would be really hard to duplicate. Um, and I'm going to try to move my camera 
a little bit to where maybe you can see me better and see this is why it is so fun doing these unedited videos because you get to see all of the the crap that us um, video editors go through trying to make decent videos okay so um, <clears throat> yeah the logo not my favorite uh, letter but it does work on the letterman jackets and of course all of the drama that has been surrounding the crest now overall I do think the crest is pretty awesome um, how they designed it I do like the crest a whole lot now yeah I am really perturbed by the dates. I think, here, here's my thought process with the dates. I really think that they overthought that some because, you know, obviously their first two, I think the first two dates uh, represented it, or represented it, or, uh, was uh, representative of NFL championships and of course you didn't have Roman numerals uh, for those championships. You, you, the Roman numerals started when uh, the Super Bowl era came into town and so <clears throat> they probably thought, well that's not going to look right if you're gonna have uh, you know, dates here and then you're gonna have Roman numerals. But little did they know that actually, for the rest of us fans, actually looks just fine. And I don't really get the idea of putting the actual, you know, the the year date that you won the Super Bowl. It needs to be representative of the year that you represent as champions. And that should have been a no-brainer right there. I mean, you have always do that. I mean, you know, last year we were talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers being the you know, Super Bowl champions of 2020. You know, they were not the Super Bowl champions of 2021 because we were playing in that season of 2021. And I just think maybe they overthought it. They were trying to be too cute. And sometimes you just, you can't overthink things. And I just feel like whoever made that decision just, I don't know what they were thinking. And it was just a blunder. It really was a blunder. Now, some people, a few people don't mind it. They're like, I'll take it with the wrong dates. I wouldn't. Honestly, I wouldn't because it's not representative of of the years that we are champions. You know, we represent the years we played and won the Super Bowl. Yes, the Super Bowl is technically played the next year, but it's representative of that that past season. So again, it was a no-brainer. Why would you, why would you put next year's dates on there? So um, that that was my biggest critique of the crest. But other than that, I thought the crest was was pretty pretty cool. I mean, overall, you know, Letterman jackets. I've always enjoyed. I've always liked Letterman jackets. Um, and now, would I be upset if? the team sent me a Letterman jacket? Absolutely not. I, I would be very proud to, to wear the Washington Commander's Letterman jacket. Um, I mean, I like them. I don't think they're trash. I know a lot of people who are jealous because they didn't get one or saying, oh, those things are trash. Um, even though I think the, the logo is, uh, I think the logo could have had a little bit more oomph to it. Um, I, I think over time they should try to dress up the logo a little bit more. And yeah, you can point back to the Chicago Bears and say, well, their logo is plain. And well, yeah, their logo is pretty much plain. I, I, yeah, but at the same time, I mean, I, I think having had such an iconic logo for decades uh, with the Indian, with the Native American chief on that helmet. Everybody loved that logo. I mean, it was it was an iconic logo. And even before then, having the R with the feathers and the uh, the spear, I mean, iconic in my mind, you know, pretty awesome logos. And then you go from that to a W. I think they needed to have done something a little bit better with that, honestly. Um, and maybe they 
maybe they didn't have a choice because obviously we don't have a mascot yet, so um, you couldn't really put a mascot on the helmet. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, who knows how long this team will be the commanders? Maybe this team won't be the commanders for very long. Maybe they'll decide, you know what, we don't like this name, we want to change it. Maybe it it'll be decided if we get new ownership, and that is definitely going to be a video that I'm going to cover, but it's going to be probably a lengthy video, and it's going to be a well-edited document video. It's not going to be one of these off-the-cuff videos. Uh, but getting back on track, I would say, um, you know, guys who didn't get the jackets, I would say, yeah, you know, lighten up a bit. Uh, feel happy for, for those who did. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I think I know well enough the backstory on a few of those guys of why they, guys and gals, of why they received the jackets. Um, I honestly thought the people who would be receiving the jackets would be uh, former players. And that I can understand. I'm getting some water. But I can't understand, you know, necessarily giving it to... Uh, well, I can understand giving it to fan ambassadors. Now, I don't know how many fan ambassadors the team uh, elected to have this season. So that may be where that's the ones who are getting them are the fan ambassadors. Um, and if so, then it makes total sense. Uh, reward them for for being fan ambassadors. Although you could ar argue that, well, you know, them being chosen as fan ambassadors should be, you know, reward enough. And, yeah, you can certainly argue that. But I think that also comes from a, a standpoint of jealousy uh, as well. I mean, um you know, I, I think if, if you're honored to be a fan ambassador and you carry it out um, as being a true ambassador of the team, um, then, yeah, you, you should deserve something. So, uh, But I will also say for those who did receive them, um, you know, be, be humbled by it. Um, don't flaunt it, per se. Um, I would say, <laughs> you know, Commander Keith, uh, I, I mean, I love the guy. I think I've never met him, but um, you know, he's. I can I can tell his personality and his sense of humor through through his Twitter post, and he is a funny guy. I mean, he really is. I I think one day, hopefully, the next time that I'm able to get up to see a game up there, uh, that I'll be able to meet him because I think he's a cool, dude. I really do. Um, did I think he flaunted it a bit? I think um, probably unconsciously, if that if if that makes sense. I think he probably did. I don't think he meant to, but I think it came across as him flaunting it, and I think it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And so I would probably just stress that you know if you received the gift, say you know say I'm humbled, you know thank the commanders for it. Um, and, you know, just go on and don't think anything else about it. You know, I mean, uh, that, that would probably be my, my recommendation. Uh, not that you're even needing a recommendation from somebody like me who you don't even know. But, um, I, you know, there obviously is some jealousy and there's been some jealousy because it does look like the team is just uh, randomly picking um favoritism, you know, favorite fans that they're going to give these jackets to, and then other fans feel like, well, I've been a fan for, you know, decades, and um, I go to games, and why have I not received a jacket? And I don't know. I mean, I have not been blessed to be able to go to games. Uh, I don't have – I mean, I've went to some games, but – I'm not blessed to have season tickets, unfortunately. And plus, I live in North Carolina. So it's a little difficult for me to be able to get up to uh, Washington and, and, you know, around that area um, on a consistent basis. It's just um, it's very expensive uh, for me and my family. And um, it's just it's not doable. But um, having said that, I have been a, 
a fan for 40 years. I mean, you date back to 1981 uh, was the uh, year that I basically became a Redskins fan, and that was before they won the Super Bowl. So uh, it wasn't because, wow, I'm picking the Super Bowl team. I actually uh, started rooting for them the year they started off 0-5. And, so, um, and I was like, I was six years old at that point. Little six years old and got into football at – such a young age and um so yeah i mean i've been a fan all of my life and i would think you know certainly if you had followed me throughout my life you would you would definitely see how much this team has meant to me i mean i planned events around the the games you know just so that i would be free to watch football games and times that i had jobs or i had work on the weekends uh and this would be back in the 90s, I would I would tape the games um, and I would stay away from news or anything like that. I'd go home and I would, you know, watch the game uh, on uh, VCR. And, and I mean, like, I had to watch every single game. Um, I, I'll be hard-pressed to tell you any games that I, I have missed. Um, There may have been maybe a handful of games in the last 40 years that I have missed. Um, Even games where they were horrible games for our, on our end. Um, I would still stay up and watch like until the, the final double zeros. So I've been a very hardcore fan of this team and which is one reason why I created this channel because, you know, this shows love and support of this team and, and to just, you know, uh, talk about something that I know a lot about and, and something I really love. Um, I will end this video on this, though. Uh, you're talking about coats, I take a lot of pride in this coat. Now, yeah, it's a Washington Redskins, but I talk about, you know, fire. <laughs> I think this coat is fire. Now, I tried to find it this morning to wear so I could wear it, you know, this video. I couldn't really find it. I think it's still packed up because um, we had recently moved into a, a new place temporarily. Uh, but I love this jacket. I mean, this jacket, it's comfortable um, and it's suede and it is just, it is so awesome. Yes, it's definitely retro, but I love it. And I would take this jacket over the Letterman jacket, honestly. I mean, I love it. It was a gift from my father, I think for Christmas. It was either Christmas or my birthday. And so I will always cherish that jacket. I love it. I will never get rid of it. Uh, I mean, I don't care if it looks dated at all. I don't care what people think about uh, the name Redskins or you know the logo or anything like that. I love that jacket. I love what it represents. Um, you know, I am proud to wear that jacket in the cold. I mean, that one to me, that trumps the, the Letterman jackets tenfold, you know. Now, again, like I said, if I got a Letterman jacket, I would be, you know, so privileged and grateful and all that. Uh, and I would definitely thank the commanders publicly, uh, for that. But, um, that jacket is awesome and I'm going to wear it in one of my videos pretty soon. As soon as I can find it, I think it's still packed. Uh, That being said, guys, I have got to get to work. So I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next one. We will probably be talking about Daniel Snyder. (laughs) 